The Department of Education is stepping up oversight over student loans, launching a new Office of Enforcement. The Office of Federal Student Aid's Chief Operating Officer, Richard Cordray, speak to, spoke to our very own R.T. Swaminathan in an exclusive interview, and she brings us that conversation. R.T. Hey, Akiko. Yeah, we spoke to Cordre, who is a former Consumer Financial Protection Bureau director during the Obama years. And it was really interesting to speak with him on this on the record conversation about how he sees enforcement. So during the Obama years, the the department basically was very, very careful in terms of looking at poor performers, especially certain for-profit schools that were considered predatory. And they really stepped, they were starting to step up how they were. Uh, basically penalizing some of these schools, but obviously during the next administration, it was greatly dismantled. Earlier today, we had Secretary, former Education Secretary John King basically using those words saying Trump and DeVos, as Secretary Betsy DeVos dismantled that entire system. So Cordray is coming back here and really stepping it up and saying, we're going to launch this office of enforcement, we're going to levy penalties if necessary to weed out the bad actors and basically make sure that we send a message that if you're going to be shady and, and sort of engage in really abusive practices, there are going to be consequences. Akiko, I also wanted to just also mention that on Thursday, we had the federal student aid, uh, federal student aid sort of collaborate with FTC, which is a different agency, on basically looking at for-profit schools. There are 74 profit schools that came under the FTC's radar, and they're going to launch civil penalties. So this is sort of a more whole-of-government approach in, in, in from what I can see. And it's worth noting that the CFPB in 2018 launched a $1 billion fine against Wells Fargo. So they have the capacity to levy very, very heavy fines. So this should be sort of a warning. But I just also want to finally end on a quote that I picked up from my interview with Cadre, which is, I'm going to put it up here. So Cadre told me that what we're trying to do with FSA is we're trying to deliver on some of the promises made to people that borrowers are going to be treated fairly and that students are going to get their money's worth and that taxpayers get their money's worth as well. I take that very seriously, but I understand it's easy to talk. Uh, but it's harder to walk the walk and deliver on what's said. Now, the reason why I find that so compelling is because Betsy DeVos scaled back all these loan cancellation programs saying, we're not, you know, we're not delivering on the promise that we made to taxpayers, we're giving too much to students. So this balancing act between uh, how are we compensating defrauded students versus how are we managing taxpayers' trillions of dollars that we are giving them, right, in, in our paycheck. So this fine line that he's walking was super interesting, but I'm very curious on what, to, what this office is going to first impose, what kind of investigations mm -hmm. they're going to take. It's going to be really, really exciting to monitor the developments as we go down this road. Yeah, and a reminder that our viewers can uh, read the full transcript uh, from RT's conversation with FAA's Chief Operating Officer on our website, website yahoofinance.com. RT Swaminathan, thanks so much for bringing us that story.